Hey, hey, welcome to my second Vim screencast. Let me show you real quick what we're going to go over today. Get all that? No? Okay, I'll slow it down. Uh, so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to reload the file. So remember E from last time. Uh, if we add an exclamation mark, what that'll do is that'll just reload the current file. So, there we go. This is the way the file was when it started. Now, I'm going to use GG. That will bring me back to the top of the file. Okay. So the first thing I did was move down a couple times with J. You remember that from the first episode. Then the next thing I did was I hit W. Now W will move us to the next word, and in this case it's the first word. I could have also hit the caret key, which I covered last week. So once I was here, I want to delete this comment, because this class really is special. So I'm going to hit X to delete, X again to delete. So X will delete the character underneath the cursor. It's kind of like the delete key in Notepad. The next thing I did was I jade a few more times down to this line, and I did a YY. Now in Vim, there's no such thing as copying; it's actually yanking. Um, yeah, I know. But so Y will tell it you want to yank, and you'll notice that. There's now a Y right here. The next thing you give it is a motion. Now, I'll explain that in a bit, but just know that right now if I hit Y again, it's a shortcut to say yank the whole line. Copy the whole line, including the new line. So the next thing I did was I hit P. Now, P is paste. So in Vim, it's yank and paste, not copy and paste. Now, I'll hit P and P will paste what was in my clipboard in to the line below. That This is a uh, protected and if I want to make this private I'm going to hit C. Now C is change. This is a very very useful command. I use this one all the time. Uh, but you see just like Y it's expecting more. So it puts a C there, turns my cursor into this little half block now it's wanting a motion. Uh, I've already taught you a number of motions. I taught you a new one today. It was called W for word. So I'm going to go ahead and hit word. Now notice what that did. That deleted the entire word protected and put me into insert mode. So a motion is any sort of movement. Uh, J is a motion, K is a motion, uh, control D and control U to page up and page down. Those are all motions. Uh, the dollar sign brings you to the end of the line. It's a motion to the end of the line. Uh, you can combine commands like C or Y to and with a motion to say I want to change with this motion. So CW is change word. YW is yank word. Y dollar sign would be yank until the end of the line. C dollar sign would be change until the end of the line. Now once I now that I'm here ready to change the word, I'm going to type private and I'm going to hit my control bracket to get out of here. Now I'm going to hit W again. And I don't want this to be read only, I want to delete this. So I'm going to hit D. Again, notice the D, the half block. It's expecting a motion. I'll hit W, gone, dollar sign from last time, that brings me to the end of the line, hit I to insert in front of the semicolon, 2, control bracket to get out, and that's it. One other thing I didn't show you was the opposite of W, which is B. So W goes forward a word, B will go back a word. And B is also a motion. So I could hit C, B to change backward.
some other uses of emotions. Let's say I want to delete the rest of this line after this. I hit D, dollar sign. That will delete everything. Uh, one other interesting thing in Vim, cut is not cut, it's actually delete. So every time I delete something, it's actually putting it into the clipboard, or in Vim's case, the register. So I just deleted everything from that line. Now I'm going to hit P, and it'll paste it back. Now this takes a bit of getting used to, but it's kind of handy. Let's say you want to switch two letters. Say you accidentally typed RAID only. If we go here, we hit X to delete. P to paste, boom, XP, switches two letters. And that's about it for today.